What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Creation Channel. My host Chase. And 162 days ago, we had an insane rumor, and it has now come through fruition. We now have leaked images of the box of the UCS Venator. Now, this set will come with two minifigures, 5,374 pieces, and is rated for obviously ages 18 and up. This is part of the UCS line, the Ultimate Collector Series, and is set 75367. Its official name is Venator Class Republic Attack Cruiser, and we have images of the entire box basically lots of different things to talk about um and for those of you who don't know the minifigures were leaked a while back the uh, admiral ularn and of course the phase two captain rex i made a video about that a long time ago check that out uh when you can um and make sure to like and subscribe it really helps out the channel but let's talk about all these images that 1414 falcon fan a very very reliable lego leaker uh i don't think he was the original leaker but i definitely think he has compiled some really interesting images that we have to talk about starting off with the original leaked one which is this this front of the box it looks really really great with that blue hue in the background uh, we know this is a clone war set because not only does it have uh wait we're, we're, it's somewhere here the, yes, it has the Clone Wars 20th Anniversary logo, but it also has the red tops for the bridge. So we know that um, it is based off of the Clone Wars. Now, we know the price of this is going to be $650, so $50 more than the Star Destroyer. And here to compare the two sets, the Star Destroyer and the UCS Venator are both the same length, but in the height is where they differ because the uh, Star Destroyer is 17 inches tall while the uh, Venator is only 12 and a half inches. So there's about a four and a half inch difference in height. But that does definitely is a bit of a good thing because we are, um, remember the original 2009 Playscale Venator had a big problem with its middle being too big so that you could fit minifigures. But this, this set definitely does not have that problem. And you can even see the display plaque in the bottom with the two minifigures to sort of get a better image of how the scale will, will turn out. And now, after seeing these images, I'm definitely very, very hyped for this set. It looks really, really amazing and accurate. So I may have to break out the wallet to see if I can afford this incredible set now one of my favorite parts of the set is definitely the back of the engines you can see they look really really great um not only accurate but the whole way that they use those wheels with the fang parts to them that i've seen in like ninjago before really really works and you could just get a better idea like that's one stud and this is the entire thing it looks great even with all of the engines and the back looks really really accurate um and i'm excited to see uh, what other features were missing with just these images uh, also on both sides it looked like there's going to be a little bit of a hanger uh, that supposedly has um, things inside there was a leaked gunship that was supposed to be with it um, but that doesn't look like it is a gunship it looks like more white and black uh, not an imperial cruiser um, but something else uh, maybe we'll get a better image of later on when the set is officially revealed by the lego group um, but yeah Really, really great set. Really solid set. Um, definitely worth getting if you have the money to afford it. Now, this is just a look at the back of the box. You get some stills from the Clone Wars. Um, see, that better look at the back. Like, I don't know how... Uh, they did that pretty well with the back, with the scaling of that. Uh, that image isn't really that great. Um, but, yeah, that's the whole Venator. Very, very accurate to the Clone Wars um, and then, of course, we've got the Captain Rex and Admiral U Ularin. Admiral Ularin looks very good. Captain Rex looks pretty solid um, as a minifigure goes by. Um, and, yeah, overall, really, really happy. I'm pretty sure that there are m very limited stickers. Uh, I'm wondering if these th these parts right here are printed. I'm pretty sure these markings here are printed and everything else is done by stud work. does have a lot of open studs in it, which can be a problem for some people, but... I definitely enjoy how the front looks, especially with no tiles um, on top of that part. And hopefully maybe that will open up and there's some interior stuff. We can pull out a gunship or two, um, a micro scale gunship that is. Um, and with that, thank you guys so much for watching this really fun video. I'm so excited for this set to come out. See it in person. What's it going to be? It's definitely going to be displayed in the Lego store when it comes out. So make sure to like and subscribe for more Lego news and leaks. I am so many things just coming out in the last couple of days. So go check out my videos on the Ninjago stuff and then eventually the Harry Potter stuff. Again, subscribe. It really helps out the channel and have a great day.